Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masu. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem print matrix in snake pattern. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a matrix of size n cross n, print the element of the matrix in the snake pattern like pattern depicted below. Okay. So if we look at the pattern, if this is the 4 cross 4 matrix given to us, then we will first print 10, then 20, then 30, then 40. From here, we will take on left hand side. So 80, 70, 60, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 80, 70, 60, 50, then 27, 29, 47, 48, 27, 29, 47, 48, and then 50, 39, 33, 32, 50, 39, 33, 32. So starting from the first row, go on the right side, then come to the left side, then right side and then left side, okay, until we uh, finish the last row. So for this also, it would be 45, 48, 54, then 87, 89, 21, then 70, 78, 15, okay, and so on. You can read the explanation here, it would be 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3. You don't need to read input or print anything. Complete the function snack pattern that takes matrix as input parameter and returns a list of integers in order of the values visited in the snack pattern. So we need to return one list which will contain the values of the uh, matrix in snack pattern. Okay, visited in snack pattern. The expected time complexity is n square and expected auxiliary space is also big of n square. So now if we think about solving this problem, so let us assume that this is the matrix of 5 cross 5 size which is given to us. We need to print this matrix in the snake pattern. What is snake pattern? Starting from first row, we will go in right direction. Then we will come down. Here we will go in left direction. Then we will come down. Then we will go in right direction. Then we will come down. Then we will go in left direction. Then we will come down, then we will go in right direction and here we will end. So basically, first row in right direction, come down, then left direction, come down, right direction, come down, left direction and so on until the... Uh, uh, until we reach the last row, until we finish the last row. So as I said this statement, this statement only contains uh, the solution. So basically, let us say this is 0th row, this is 1st row, this is 2nd row, this is 3rd row and this is 4th row, right? So what can we see here? For the rows which have even indexes in that we are traversing on the right hand side starting from left, so 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 7. 90, 100, 129, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And for the rows which have odd, odd numbers 1 and 3, in that we are traversing from right to left 8, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 10, 3, uh, this is 4, 5, and 6. So basically, what I'll do, I'll start traversing from first row to nth row. If the row number is even starting from zero index, then I'll store the element of that row from left to right in my answer list, then go to the next row. If the row number is odd, I'll store the elements of that row from right to left in my answer list. And then I'll go to next row and I'll keep doing this row by row until I complete all the rows. I hope you have understood this. Now let's look at its actual code. So if we look at the actual code, so basically this is the matrix which are given to us and we need to return a list of values in the snack pattern. So I have taken one vector answer, then I have taken n as the matrix size and m as the matrix 0 dot size. But here this is no need to take, even if you do not take, this is number of rows, this is number of columns. But since the matrix is of size n cross n, you can only take this also, okay. Then what I have done, I have traversed through all the rows starting from 0 to n minus 1. If the row number is even, if the index is even, then I will uh, move the columns from left to right, that is 0 to m minus 1. So for j equals to 0 to m minus 1, answer dot pushback matrix of i j, i is the row number, j is the column number. Else, if this is not even, this is odd, then we will execute this part. So I'll move my column from right to left, that is m minus 1 to 0, and answer dot pushback matrix ij. Okay, i is the row number and j is the column number. And then I'll return this answer list. What would be the time complexity? Time complexity would be big of n square. Okay. Uh, because uh, we are traversing the matrix. Okay. And what would be the auxiliary space? The auxiliary space will also be big O of n square. Why? Because we are using this answer list which will contain n square number of elements. I hope you have understood this. Now let's submit this code. So let's submit it. So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.